Hey friends, welcome back to Fantasy Wash. It's been a little while, so let's catch up. Now, I haven't really been in my normal setting for the last few videos. I've been doing vlogs and I've been doing live chats more than anything else. And if you've been following, you know that in October I came down with COVID for the very first time. It has been kicking my butt. I have all the brain fog that they talk about and I've got long-standing fatigue. So that hasn't really left much time for booktube, unfortunately, but I'm hoping to get back into the swing of things going forward. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm Laura, aka Fantasy Awash. This is a channel where I talk about books that are primarily fantasy. Sometimes I throw a historical fiction or a sci-fi in there. And I like to talk about shows that are fantasy too or period dramas. So these are the things that you will find in this channel. If that sounds like something you might like, you might want to hit like and subscribe so you can follow along. I came across something on BookTube this morning and I realized I never did that. And that was the newbie BookTube tag. And I thought, you know what? It might be fun now that I've been doing this for 10 months to look at the questions and see how I can answer them with maybe a 10 month perspective lens on that because I think it could be really fun to do. Now, I came across a new booktuber. I'm going to put her image up here because I can't remember her name. And I think you should go check her out, honestly, because I think she's got the most soothing voice on booktube. But without further ado, let's jump into our questions and see what they are. Question one, why did you make your channel? I made my channel because I wanted to find a community of people that wanted to talk about the same things that I wanted to talk about. And that has been so successful. I'm happy to say that that has probably been the best part for me of booktube. I have found people that want to talk about all the books that I have read and want to read, the shows that I've watched, and it has really fostered an awesome community. I've made some great friends on booktube and that was why I made the channel, and so far, it's been a complete success. I think a fun and unique thing that I bring to BookTube, maybe, is that I've got my degrees in Roman history and religion, which I talk about, and that's, I think, an interesting take because I can look at different fantasy books, I could talk about religion in an interesting way. I can talk about history in terms of events happening. I did a conversation with Joanna and Alan on Alan's channel, and we talked about the book Augustus by John Williams, which is so good. You should definitely check it out if you haven't. And I'm able to offer that historical accuracy perspective, and I really love that because as a historian, I love when things are accurate and truthful, I can look at things from an academic lens and sometimes I feel like that might come into some of my videos, but also I think that sometimes I can be funny, maybe, who knows, but I think I can be funny and I like bringing humor to videos. I feel better or I feel at my best when I can make someone laugh. So if you've ever come to one of my videos and you've laughed, that is something that I'm happy that I have brought to BookTube and I hope to be able to continue to do so. So question number three is what are you most excited about for this channel? And that was definitely doing lives with people, even though it was the thing I was most nervous to do. I have always considered myself an extrovert. However, I feel like I am more properly labeled an introverted extrovert in that I need time to decompress. I need time to be on my own and just have quiet. And as a parent, that is something that you don't get an abundance of. So socially, I love engaging with people. I just need breaks in between. So approaching someone also to do a live was something that brought me immense anxiety. I didn't love doing it, but I've gotten over that fear and I've made some good friends on BookTube. I've had some wonderful conversations with people. I've had Read by Kyle on my channel several times. Christopher Navo and I did lives for all of the Wheel of Time shows. We even had Bookhorn on here. I've had Joanna from Joanna Reads, and I've also been on other people's channels, and it's just been so, so fun. I love reading because it is a place to be imaginative. I have always loved fantasy because of this. It, there's just no other genre I feel that taps into the 
creative subconscious the way that fantasy and sci-fi do. And it's because we are creating these new worlds or we are building upon the world in which we know and adding so much to it. I just love reading. It is a place to escape. It's an place, it's a place to explore new worlds, new people, new characters, new ideas that I maybe wouldn't have encountered otherwise. So I love reading for those reasons. What are questions that I would have asked my favorite booktubers? I did ask people questions. <laughs> I have pestered a lot of people about different questions about how often they post, how they can find the time for it. But mostly I'm always curious about how people can read as much as they do. I am hoping to hit 52 books for the year. It's November 9th. I just looked at my screen to confirm this. As of this point, I think I have read 45 books this year. And it's the most that I've read in a really long time, which is due to health issues that I had in the past. And I've had some of those pop up again over the course of this year. So I'm hoping that that won't kind of interfere with reading going forward because I would love to hit 52 books and I would love to be able to maintain that pace next year as well. I think that the biggest challenge is just honestly finding time and finding constant content. If you're not one of these people that can devote so much time to reading, it's really difficult to find things to talk about that people necessarily want to engage with. I had a bit of a reading slump a couple months back and that was when I decided to do the Wheel of Time live. So you can find things within your, your area if you want to extrapolate upon them, but I definitely can see it becoming problematic. Also just finding time. Time is such a precious commodity if you are working full-time, if you're a full-time student, if you have children, there's always something that's going to get in the way of having enough time, but it's difficult to sometimes set aside time for yourself to do something creatively for yourself. So I think that that can probably be the biggest hindrance at points. I started reading officially, I believe when I was five or six, uh, in terms of what the brain can actually do, it's interesting. I used to teach at a school for children with dyslexia and related learning differences, and we had to do a lot of studying on the brain. And most children do not learn to read. The brain cannot actually process reading until they are about six years old. You have the odd outlier where that's not necessarily the case. It can come earlier, it can come later, but most children, it's around the age of six. So it's funny to me that a lot of people are like, oh, well, I want my children reading before kindergarten or grade one. And I'm like, they probably won't be able to. Uh, so that is around the time that I started started learning how to read and I've been reading pretty much ever since. The top three genres that I love are fantasy, without question, fantasy, fantasy, fantasy. I love historical fiction and I actually love history books. <laughs> uh, Mary Beard is one of my favorite authors of all time. She's an academic. She's a professor at Cambridge. I highly recommend that anyone check her out if you are interested in any kind of history book. She makes it fun and approachable and she talks about the Romans who are my absolute favorite. My book collection has grown and changed, which has been such a fun thing about BookTube because I've come to read so many books and so many authors that I hadn't heard of beforehand. If we look back at my first videos, I was in my basement. I was desperately trying to find a place in my house that I could get away from my cats, get away from baby noise, and just have a secluded space. And we finally were able to get proper built bookshelves. My father-in-law is a carpenter and he built this wonderful wall for me. I love it so, so much. I fear that we are already starting to run out of space. I also have a bookshelf of academic books and that is in a separate location in my house. I can show a little video of that after. And then we have the location in my basement that I previously used to record in, which still has some books on it. It's kind of just become a melange of things. It's books that we like, but aren't necessarily in good enough condition that we want to put on display. Or there's some books on there that I simply don't know what to do with anymore. 
Uh, specifically, The Mist of Avalon sits on that shelf because when I read it, I knew nothing about the author. And now that I do know it, I'm like, what does someone even do with this book? Probably give it away. And I just haven't gotten around to that yet. So that's kind of the collection of books that we have. But this is my pride and joy right now. This is actually my dining room. I used to have a buffet here that I've now moved across the room and I actually have a video where I recorded in front of this very wall before this was installed and I'm just in love with it. I come in here and it's filled with books that we've read and books that have yet to be read and it's really fun that it's kind of our own little mini library and I can select something from our bookshelf here and go upon a literary journey. I love it. In terms of updates going forward with the channel, we are now in November which is wild to me. I started my channel in January. Uh, so yeah, it's just, it's been about 10 months since I posted my first video and I feel like I'm still finding my voice on booktube. I don't know exactly what my identity is here yet. I know that going forward, I want to continue having conversations with people because I love talking to people. I love getting to know them. I love sharing book love. So I'm hoping to continue my love bomb chats. I've had two of those so far, one with Ben from Books with Bangs Khan and uh, the second one with Joanna from Joanna Reads. I feel like there's so much negativity that's happening in the world right now and it can be very overwhelming especially I find it very overwhelming so I like using booktube as a fun safe space to talk about books to travel to different worlds to get to talk to other people about what their experiences with those works have been and to introduce people to new things that they might not necessarily have known or thought about when it comes to literature the history of literature and the wonderful genre that is fantasy. In the next few months, I'm hoping to get back to a regular rotation of a video once a week. If COVID fatigue will let up, then that's definitely my plan going forward. I've integrated some vlogs into my channel. I'm not sure if that's the direction that I'm gonna keep going. If you like the vlogs, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm hoping to get out some series on religion and fantasy, specifically the religions that I wanna look at in depth are the religions of A Song of Ice and Fire and the religions the Cosmere just because those are the ones that I'm the most familiar with but there's so much to be said about religion and fantasy and just getting into the nitty-gritty of it I'm planning on having a video that discusses where I am in the Cosmere and ranking my Cosmere reads because it has been a year of Sanderson for me oh boy has it been a lot but let me know down in the comments below what kind of videos you would like to see going forward if there's anyone that you feel would be a great candidate for a love bomb chat please Please let me know because honestly we're here to share the love of books and what better way to do that than a love bomb chat. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for hanging out with me for the last 10 months. It's been a pleasure and honestly I've loved it so much. I've loved getting to know everyone in this community. I know that I don't have a massive following of people but those of you that show up continuously for me in my lives, in my videos, in the comments, I love hearing from you. I love seeing you there. I appreciate you. I'm thankful for you. So if you're new here, know that I feel that way about you too as well. Welcome to this little community and corner of the internet. If you'd like to stay up to date with new videos, you can hit like and subscribe. You can hit that little bell notification to make sure that you're not going to miss anything. You also want to follow me on Instagram and see what it is I'm reading in real time. You can find me at Fantasy Wash. As always, I'll see you next time. Bye.